send me your play send me your prayers in the chat please my children please let us pray pray that the tragedy will not be coming to pass pray pray let us Crashed, but it will not crash my spirit, my holy spirit. My children, let us go into the lands of milk and honey and gaming. Thank you for your prayers. Yeah, if it crashes again, I I honestly have no idea what to do. That's like the fourth fucking time it's crashed. I have no idea why, why, why. Why is it? Why? I've tried so many things. I've tried like updating drivers. I've tried just running in administrator mode. I think OBS is just... It just has it out for me. I don't know. It has a fucking grudge against me. OBS hates women and hates cats and hates Jesus. And hates everything that's holy. Everything that's good. No OBS seems to be failing everyone. Has this happened to other people? Am I not crazy? I'm not crazy, right? Uh, here, let me, uh, close this <laughs> tomb back up. Cause, uh... You guys do not want to know what else is in there. <laughs> there. There's, like, a weird guy, like, a weird bearded guy in there. Wearing, like, a white robe. And, uh, he was like... Oh, sweet! Oh, I get to come out now? Oh, cool. But I kind of, like, accidentally pushed him down the stairs and, uh... He, he's not... He's not moving anymore. You're like, oh, let's go ahead and close this up. <laughs> and you just hear the, like, stone grinding noise, like... <laughs> Poor Jerma. <laughs> Bro, Jerma would do a stream where he, like, roleplays as Jesus and gets literally crucified. <laughs> It'd be like the carnival stream part two. <laughs> do that i know he's like taking it easy nowadays which is chill like he's had a very like long and historic streaming career but i think he should go out with a bang i think he should literally do like a jesus stream like a reenactment of like everything that jesus went through just like full-on passion of the christ but it's like passion of the germa <laughs> just get like i don't know People to pretend to be Roman guards just like whipping him until he bleeds. And he's like, guys, guys, I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna get crucified. I'm not going up in the crucifix. Guys, guys, oh, oh chat. Chat. I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna get nailed to the crucifix. Chat. Oh, okay, okay, fine. I, I, I'm getting nailed to the crucifix, aren't I? <laughs> and then he just like <laughs> it's just like a 24 hour like subathon stream <laughs> where he's just up on the crucifix on a hill somewhere in like, I don't know, in the middle of nowhere in Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> and every now and then like, uh, like a chatter can like activate a redeem where someone comes up with like the lance of Longinus and just like pokes him a little bit. <laughs> and he makes like the Pillsbury Doughboy noise like, <laughs> 24 hour 
crucifixion. <laughs> anyway. Oh, you guys are gonna crucify me if I, my fucking OBS keeps crashing. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. I feel like I'm supposed to, like, I don't know. I don't know how to. Oh, I, I just feel like I'm such an inconvenience. I'm sorry. To everyone who's like, whoa, what the fuck? Where did the stream go? Why, why is it dead? I'm sorry. OBS is just uh, acting a fool lately. I have no idea what's going on with it, but. Uh, I'll try my best after stream today to see, like, to really do a deep dive into the inner workings of my fucked up computer. But apparently it's been happening to other people, so... Yeah, we, we get two streams. We get to start the stream out on uh, a better foot. I'm more awake now than I was when I started the stream uh, half an hour ago. So it's all good. I think. Yeah. Uh, has Ethel have been having any problems? I think, yeah, it actually happened to him too. I don't remember what stream it was, but he did have OBS crash on him and like his entire computer shut down. I think Zen had a problem? Someone said Zen had the same kind of problem. Feel real bad for the babies without object permanence? I would never feel bad for a baby. They have it way too good. They're way too fucking spoiled. All they get to do is they get to be a fucking human larva crawling around sucking on boobs all day. And they have the gall. They have the absolute gall to cry and scream as if their life is so fucking hard. Babies are like spoiled, rotten little pieces of shit. Wah, wah, I'm a baby. Oh, I've, I don't have any idea what's going on. I can't communicate properly, so I have to go. Wah, wah. Oh, the world is so big and I'm so small. I've only been alive for four months. Wah. Shut the fuck up. Bro, I have to pay taxes. I have to, like, make money to survive. I have to, like, go to the grocery store. I have to answer emails. What do you have to do? Crawl around? Shit in your diaper? I don't even have the luxury of shitting in a diaper anymore. I had to give that up, like, a few weeks ago. Because it's, uh, Lent. Well, thankfully, I can start doing that again. After, uh, Easter. But uh, that's besides the point. I, I have to get up and go to the fucking toilet. And people yell at me for not washing my hands. Have you ever yelled at a baby for not washing its hands? Water is toxic to babies. They can't consume it. Another reason why babies are pieces of shit. Oh. Oh. So you don't want to drink the thing that the planet is like 80% made out of? You, you'd rather have Milky? Are you that fucking selfish and conceited? Babies are just like selfish, uh, narcissistic little assholes. They only care about themselves, like they're always number one. It's always me, me, me when it's a baby. They never think about like, oh, maybe there's like other people have lives outside of playing peekaboo with you. <laughs> like Val <Schwab. laughs> Yeah, babies are so parasocial. Like, leave me the fuck alone, bro. I, I may birth you out, but you don't fucking know me. <laughs> That's so true though, isn't it weird? Like moms It's so crazy when you think about it. Like your mom birthed you out. You didn't even really know her. You didn't even know her, like, until you, like, gained consciousness at a random point when you were, like, three years old. You're just, like, a, a random person. You were a stranger. Your, like, relationship bar was at zero with your mom for a long time. Until you started, like, bonding with her, like, when you could, uh, when you're capable of social bonding. When you're, like, old enough, when your brain is developed enough as a baby. But before that, she doesn't know you, you don't know her. And yet, you're sucking on her boob. So explain that. Explain that, atheist. Your mom is your starter human. <sighs> that harlot. You think the mom is the harlot? She's just providing nutrients to the baby. The baby is the fucked up one. The baby is just like... Taking it like, okay, so it wasn't enough for the baby 
to latch on to you for nine months and suck up all of your excess nutrients now it's gonna keep doing the same thing but now it's like outside of your body and making it weird for everybody like you're like on public transit and your baby's like milky like, what then yeah and then 18 years of that <laughs> Bro, babies are weird as fuck <laughs> it's kind of scaring me thinking about it what am i sipping on i'm sipping on gamer soaps lean my new favorite flavor. It's very delectable. Ah, maybe Nyana says that most babies got breast milk. This is not me being resentful because I was a formula baby. A formula brewer. Babies are creepy. Yeah, let's cancel them. <laughs> it's about damn time. It's about goddamn time. You start life sucking on titties in public, but then you never get to do it again. I just, for some reason, like the image it flashed in my mind of like a, just like a shirtless guy, very rotund shirtless guy, just offering up his little his little teats to passersby. You know how they have those like free hug signs at anime conventions? Guys should just start doing that instead. Just offering a latch, yeah, like Peter Griffin. You should get a soda stream and put gamer subs in it. It's so good. Carbonated gamer subs? Bro, that would actually be sick. Oh, that's just a good idea. I want to get one of those uh, Coca-Cola remix machines that they have at movie theaters. They can't be that expensive, right? One of my favorite parts of going to the movies is getting the snacks and making my own Coca-Cola concoction. Anyway, let's, uh, let's move on to greener pastures. Follow me this way. Right this way. If OBS crashes again, I will be very sad. Wait, what is that in the corner? Hello? What the fuck are you? <sighs> test, test. What the fuck is that? I'm kind of scared. I don't want to touch it. What if it's gonna... Is it a bomb? What the fuck is that? Is it the, the Fugi thing? Like the Fugi Discord call thing? What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Touch it? No, no, bro. I might have germs on it. What the fuck is that? I'm getting scared. Oh, wait. Yeah, it is. It is the call thing. <laughs> oh, uh, that's load bearing the OBS? Oh, no. It's like the load bearing uh, coconut from the TF2 files. Let's see. I'm kind of curious what's going on in the morning on Radio Garden. Just to get some uh, good tunes rolling. Oh, we're back in Ulan Ulan Batar. Here, 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 here. Ulan Batar Radio. What time is it in Mongolia right now? Does it say like on the site? I think it does. I think I'm blind. I'm not crazy, I'm just a little unwell, oh well, I know you can't tell. I wait soon enough, and then you'll see a different side of me. I'm not crazy, I'm just a little... Mongolian. Wait, it's not playing. Is it just... Does Mongolia not have radio this late at night? 11 p.m.? Do they cut off the radio at night so everybody in Mongolia goes to sleep? They send out like a, a countrywide like alert message like go to sleep. It's sleepy time now. Bedtime for all Mongolians. Alert. Alert to all Mongolians. Go to sleep now. Oh, looks like it's gonna happen over here. Oh, some nice morning talk radio. Do you guys like talk radio? I used to listen to NPR a lot. It's just very soothing. It gives me like nostalgia for road trips or like whenever I would hitch a ride with my dad to school. He would drive me to school sometimes in the morning and he'd just have the chillest shit playing on the radio. Either like Howard Stern or NPR. They're always talking about such interesting things. No, not an ad! 
Who tests war? ¿Quieres darle sabor a tu vida con un toque picante y delicioso? Entonces prueba Nongshim, el hogar de Shin Ramyun, número uno en fideos coreanos. Why is it Spanish? Bob and Tom, yeah, the Bob and Tom show is so good. Is that just a Midwest thing or was that nationwide in America? Howard Stern was not chill. Sometimes Howard Stern was chill. There's just something comforting about like radio voices. Like, especially early in the morning when there's still like dew on the ground. The sun is just coming up. You're still kind of like, ooh, it's just still greeting the day. And you hear that like gravelly radio voice and like the the radio laughter and you're like, you know what? I was kind of nervous about today, but maybe everything's gonna be all right. That kind of feeling. Never, you never heard of Bob and Tom? Bro, they're legends. I wonder, are they still on radio? Making family memories is magic. Taking a trip to visit family because you donated? We'll be landing shortly. That's plasma magic. See how donating at Octopharma Plasma can make a difference Only in your plasma. life and the lives of others at plasmagic.com. Plasmagic. Broadway's must see musical. Teacher. You can get money for donating plasma. And that's only the second best reason why you should do it. Ah, uh, so true. Wait, what did that have to do with the <laughs> visiting family? <laughs> Some of these ads don't make any sense. Radio Lumbini. What the fuck? It just cut off. Now this is a morning vibe. What is that style of singing called? Where it's just like really like reverberate and like ah! Ululation? Is that really what that's called? Ululation? Ululilia. Do you remember Ululilia? He had the sickest tip on how to degrease a pizza. And I think he was like a game developer. He was a legend. He's still alive, right? I hope so. I hope he lives forever. He's just a very pure soul. Ululilia. Here, let me see if I can find his channel. Ululilia. Yeah, there's a, um, <coughs> a documentary on him. He was really obsessed with platformer games. And definitely on the spectrum. But, oh my god, how to degrease ordered pizza. Here's his video on how to degrease pizza. This is mandatory viewing material. He's alive. I'm Facebook friends with him. He still posts screenshots of old games he plays. Wait, really? Wait, is he still working on his, his own game? He was making a game, right? Like, he was, like, painstakingly crafting a... His own platformer game. Like, really, really painstakingly. Degreasing pizzas. I've been doing it for almost 20 years, and it's an extremely effective method. All you need is a Pay pizza. attention. Although Get your notepads out. Work with many other things, such as this is a 23 minute long video. <laughs> but I don't eat meat. For when I get multiple pizzas, things are a little different. Okay. First up, of course, is... Oh, I need to move Domino's, good choice. Away a little bit. Those are my logs that I use. This is from wow. 2016. Look at all that grease on there. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is a greasy pie. <laughs> I ended up on my fingers. So, oh yeah, we're gonna have to be careful about that. What you obviously need for any degreasing is some way of soaking up the grease. What and is the book in the background? The secret well in the that. basement? Do you see that? The secret in the basement. First, I'm gonna clean this mess Why is he working off his floor? Wow. Maybe... I think he just likes to sit on the floor. I've never heard this happen before. You ever just sit on the floor? Listen here, buddy. I'm getting really mad, so I'm literally gonna scooty toilet on you. <laughs> I'm literally gonna poop on your face. I'm literally 
But inside what? this delicious box, I, th I just blacked out for a second. Anything worthwhile. I think but I too much blood rushed to my head. A delicious pizza. But if you notice closely, notice all the glittering and glint and Oh whatnot. yeah, it looks like it's been it covered in vegetable the oil. Camera setup that I got here, but it actually glows. Reflections from the lights. It's glowing. So for what I need for this, it's radioactive pizza. I is I need four. Oh, it's an FBI sides. agent. Noticing the. You could never be too sure. Here. I fold it in half. Okay, so very way, important. It's just a little bit bigger one. Yeah, you have uh, to have enough coverage. And standard ones also work fine. All I do is I put the paper towel kind of in a corner like so. And I just start pressing. Mm. Look at this already. And I hardly Look at even that. anything. It's soaking but up so much grease. Oh my god. Story. So oh. I just do some somewhat soft padding, kind of a medium low. For best degreasing, you better wait for it Radio to cool Garden? Down. Yeah, we can but listen to more Radio Garden. It's just to start our day off. Shell. The cheese that is. On a funky which note. Which is not really a fun thing to be having happen. This guy's insane. What is, okay. Genuinely speaking, what is insane about this? Like, what is wrong with this? You want the grease on your pizza? You want all that excess grease? I think he's a fucking, uh, genius. He's innovative. He's breaking new ground here. Like, there's still gonna be grease on the pizza, but just not so much that it's just, like, glistening, you know? It makes it a little bit more palatable. So, And it's a very effective way of doing it. One. Paper towel holds up pretty well. It's not gonna leave, like, many fibers or, like, pieces of paper behind. Very absorbent. Very effective. Optimal. Look at all that. That is just one. That's just one. How many is it gonna do? Beyond that, I just use pears like this. They just don't get it, yeah. They're not about this course. life. And I get the rest of the parts. And I repeat the process. Imagine how much more grease would be on if it was a meat pizza, too. Yeah, you gotta Again, get that, that side that he didn't get. Grease. This will take some time. Oh, Just okay, so we're on know, two paper it's towels. Really, really fast Three now? At the beginning, but over time, it slows down. It kind of follows like a square root curve in a way. So if you put four times more effort into it, you will get twice the amount of grease. See? See? It'll take be note. Like half the grease, basically, or something like that. I'm That's not eating kind of Domino's to be healthy. It's not about sure health. It's about... Mm. You just don't understand. It's about the palatableness. It's about... It's still it's gonna be unhealthy as fuck, as but well. it won't be as slimy and greasy when you eat sauce. it. It'll improve the texture when you're consuming it. Grease, It'll make it more enjoyable. Yes, it's about... Occasion. Exactly, open sack. It's about the mouthfeel of the pizza. You'll get some of the cheese soaked up. There's also quite a bit of water mixed in. Surprising that food The inherent eroticism of degreasing a pizza. And, notice how I'm going over the same area that I did on the first one. It's gonna notice be dry as fuck? All that grease no, bro, really you don't understand how much grease is on a Domino's pizza. He's just cutting off the, the cream on the top. Just the Here excess. Either. What if he eats the, the paper towels with pizza, the grease on it later, like he saves it as a snack? every pizza there is. It's part in I the Red like Sea of Greece. <laughs> Sounds like what I did to your mother special. last night. Large three topping for only seven ninety nine, which is on par with Walmart's kind of pricing. Oh, tell me about normal, it. Uh, frozen pizzas are. There will be separate videos for those, by the way, because mm. they use different methods. But this is what I do True. for the larger ordered pizzas. Fresh pizza, ordered pizza. It's gonna be the degreasing process is Not going to be a little bit different, I one. think. But there's still quite a bit. As oh, you can yeah. Tell here, there's still quite a bit. Oh. What is his shirt? I'm trying to figure out what it is. It's like some kind of cartoon character. You could, like,
like take that pizza, wring it out like a dishcloth, and the grease would come like. <laughs> he stopped working on this platforming game a few years ago and is now working on this 2D side scrolling okay, game that has story. magic combat and RPG elements to it. Oh, fuck yeah. I hope he finishes it. I was at least so inspired by him back in the day. He's just so passionate and dedicated to his craft. Ooh. Sometimes you will get little pieces of. Why did this dude record this? Because he's teaching you how to do it. Are you not thankful? Like he's showing everybody his secret technique. Sure you're putting on. And do put this guy is the type of person to wash his hands after a shower. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you take a shower and you have to shit like within an hour after? And you just feel like. <laughs> Why did I? What was all that for? What was it all for? Fuck! That's a pancake and pizza together in one. Yeah, you have to prime a shit before you shower. You have to kind of like prime it like a pump. So what are these other ones? I've just tuned in. What are we looking at? This is an internet legend. Please pay but respect. Now, I need to get His name is Ula Lilia. He is a game developer and a genius. Like an actual genius. I'm not even kidding. Like he he's like a fucking like... His brain just operates on a higher level. And he, he's kind of eccentric because of that. He's like a mathematical like scientific genius. He, he's been like working on like game development and stuff. He's like obsessed with speedrunning and platforming and stuff. Yeah, he's got a neuro neurodivergence. Neurodivergent greatness. And this is his tutorial on how he degreases pizza in order to make them more palatable. Every single yeah, he's one like. One I would before ascertain that he might it's be the reincarnation of Albert warm, Einstein. Because the effectiveness is much stronger when it's warm. Mm. Yeah, you gotta work fast when it so comes to the ordered pizzas. So, I'll continue on with this. I'll fast forward at a pretty modest frame rate. Uh, Other people pat their pizza dry too? Right? Um, excuse me, it's called degreasing. Since this is I'm not even like being ironic, like this is a good tip. If you're someone who doesn't want all that excess grease on no, your pizza, just uh, give it a little pat. Not really all that much left, but I still go on farther. Much it's kind of like wiping your ass. You just gotta wait the until the, the paper towel is clean. Or like when you wash rice, you have to wait until the water it looks mostly clear. Oh god, it's sped up. Time-lapse footage of him degreasing. How many paper towels has he used? It's... Bro, look how greasy that is. It's still fucking coming off. Oh. Oh my god, it's like it's still producing grease through the pores of the cheese. If I come over your house for a pizza party and I see you taking some bounty ass paper towels to them, I'm throwing hands. <laughs> I only do this when there's some motherfucker in the party that's like, yo, can we get wings too? Then, then it's fucking on. There, There is no glory in war. War is hell. Look at- bro, look at how much grease is still coming off. Wait, actually, some of that looks like sauce. Yeah, as you can tell- Four what? wings equals thirty-seven dollars. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bro, why- <laughs> Why is that such a universal truth? <laughs> you get pizza and there's always someone that's like, Yo, can we get wings? Just one fucking guy and it makes the order go from like twenty dollars to like one hundred. Greasier than what it's been. <laughs> That's because They're I'm so expensive. On the worst areas. <laughs> and you only get like bad. five of them. <laughs> you need another one, so if I keep needing new ones. And the worst bad. part is like if they're the type of person that's like they barely eat the meat from the bone. Like they just like leave <laughs> like it looks like they took like two bites out of them. And so I don't wipe the stuff all over my clothes. You are that guy who hurt you. One. What what started your villain arc? Sword. For wiping my hands on. Especially this video isn't going to end until he hits cardboard. <laughs> Bro, he's gonna dig a hole to China at this point. Get the edges as well. 
<laughs> he had to get he had to get some of the sauce. Wait, he's done with this one. Oh, and he's starting with the next one. Okay, okay. Degreasing three whole I pizzas. Have random number generator. I grab the slice. I don't eat it right away. Instead, I put it on here. Of course, I got this thing in the. Yeah, this is what happens when you take Adderall for the first duh, time. Duh, duh. You're like, oh, fuck duh. yeah, finally, I can get all my work done. And then you black out and you realize three hours later you spent three hours degreasing a pizza. Here. So, for that, I grab one of these, like so, and I put it on it like so. Okay. This also kind it's of like origami. Yes, I'm having my double cheddar, double normal cheese. Double cheddar, first. double normal cheese. That's a lot of cheese. I'm not gonna lie. It's probably why it's so what greasy. About this? I'll get to that. All that cheese fat. Is he saving the grease for something? No, much, I don't think so. Help, at least. I no longer feel bad when someone asks me what I'm doing Saturday night because it will never be as bad as this. What's so bad about this? I just scoop it up and eat uh, it. He's only degreasing three pizzas over the course of an hour. Boneless wings, I'm throwing you out. It's a glorified chicken nugget drowned in sauce. Okay, and so buddy, okay. And eat them by yourself while everyone else eats their shared pizza. <laughs> Selfish fuck. Okay, I I draw the line at... Okay, boneless wings are fine. They're honestly then, sometimes even better than ones on the bone. Because you, you don't have to worry about the like, bits of bone yeah, leaving your mouth. Or like, you get more meat. You get more bang for your buck with boneless wings. I repeat the process. If needed, put this to use. You keep it in the same orientation. The bone and flavor adds so much. That's true. Use. There may be it, a They're two overlap, different experiences. But that's fine. Sometimes you feel like you want to be really primal and just go like <laughs> and gnaw and tear meat from the bone. Sometimes you just want a more easy experience, more dainty experience. This might just go down as the biggest fucking waste of time someone has ever done in the history of ever. This guy is why we should bring back bullies. How dare you, bro? You do not say that about Ulalilia. Shame on you. I am completely fucking serious. No. You should not bring back bullying, especially not for someone like this guy. What, what's he doing that's hurting you? He's just uh, making his pizza less greasy. It, albeit it's taking him a really long time, but I think it's valid. He just wants his pizza to be less greasy. And when you're done with this slice, you just go back to Yeah, we need to pay respect to your fucking elders. I would not be here if it wasn't for this guy. This guy inspired me. From the beginning. What the That's hell did the pizza do to suffer this torment? Do the, the pizza, do I think. Again. One must imagine the pizza is happy. Oh, and by the way, remember this It's like, piece, thank right? you. Now what I can finally breathe it? again. Well, All the grease is gone. Space on your I feel dual, clean. Paper towels, you just degrease it like is that this, Ed Sheeran? No, it's Ola Lilia. He's a game, game developer and a fucking legend. Take his name out of your fucking mouth. When each one of those is used up, you just toss it in the trash. And when one of the one points of full, ordering pizza is because you can't be bothered to make food and are lazy. And he's making it like you're cooking dinner. You might as well have cooked dinner. I mean, when you cook dinner, you have to like do a recipe and like stand up and uh, use multiple tools. This just requires sitting on the floor, paper towel, and like patting the pizza a little bit. You could do this while like listening to a podcast. You could like multitask while doing this. I, I don't know. I've not thought about this guy for fucking ever. You need to think about him more. You toss it in the trash and you replenish. It takes like necessary. a half an hour to make a pizza. And another thing to consider if you make it from scratch, it could take like five hours. You're probably wondering why the cheese is sticking to it like crazy or something like that. Why? 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 Well, that's probably because you're using the wrong degreasing medium. Oh, For very that, good point. Please get your notepads out. You need something that is strong and sturdy. You can do a basic no cheap paper test towel. 
Just simply go along like a corner like here, like a little edge. No wire hangers. Then you just do a tear. This doesn't take too much force to get a little... You guys will look at like, I don't know, a Japanese person doing origami. And be like, whoa, person folding paper, but it's Japanese. Whoa, sugoi, ne? But then you see an American man folding paper in a self-same way for an even better purpose, i.e. getting grease off of a pizza instead of making a gay little piece of paper that looks like an animal. Like, what are you going to do with that? Put it, on, put it on your fucking desk? Forget about it? This actually has a purpose. This is ingenuity. So that means these if, are... Okay, if this guy was like a Japanese anime character doing this, you'd be like, you'd be like scratching your chin like, whoa. Wait a minute. Aren't very strong, but they are doable. On the other hand, these, using the same kind of position. What's wow. he doing? It takes a lot more force. That one didn't take much. It's very strong paper towel. Yeah. Well, basically, what are, what are the divots for? The when you do that tear test like that. That's Wait a minute, you know he's how insane? something is. The most insane people are the realest when you know people. How, when you have something strong like that, make it better by then, putting the dust on well, you. Then it would be perfectly suitable for degreasing. Origami, the Japanese art of folding paper into decorative shapes and figures degreasing pizza, the American art of folding paper to pat down a pizza into its most edible form. <laughs> also, do not start degreasing. When yes. Exactly. You 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 understand it, spilled nuts. Thank you. <laughs> Bro, he is like L. <laughs> this video was created by Alilia. This delicious pizza was created by Domino's. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I love hamburger helper, but I hate meat. Yuck, <laughs> disgusting. Blah, who can stand that stuff? So, I've come up with a method for making hamburger helper without the hamburger, <laughs> and it's really good. Here's how I do it. <laughs> From left to right is my most favorite to my least favorite flavor. The gap he really likes cheese in there in that position that I've had before. I'm the opposite. Like I don't really like cheese, but I like meat. But I can't find it anymore. But I can understand. Maybe he doesn't like meat because of like a texture thing. Favorite one. I'm going to have it. To make the hamburger helper without the hamburger, you pretty much follow the directions on the box. <laughs> although there are a few changes that are needed. <laughs> the first thing is. Well, instead of using the skillet, you use the saucepan as I'm doing. The amounts of liquids that you use. This is such a classic Midwest kitchen. <laughs> you don't have the meat, they're rid of it. So that's less stuff you need to cover. And thus, you don't need anywhere near as much liquid. So there's a multiplier on that. A multiplier? And there are four general options that I would suggest the most. In order from the lowest to the highest, you have five months. <laughs> Seven twelfths, five eighths. Take notes. Take this. Take notes. So, basically, what is that multiplier all about? What is it about? Must be wondering why two boxes. Yeah, this well, is just asmongold, gold, boxes, but it's actually pretty simple. Smart. One box just ain't <laughs> I need a second one to make it more filling, and boy, is it filling! <laughs> and yes, I can eat the whole thing in one go. The first step I do is, I'm although sorry. it says water and milk here are needed, I always do the milk first. And it says one and two thirds cups milk. Although this one does have a convenient notch already made. You really need too much liquid in here, however. One important thing to note is, because this is effectively a sauce, you have to stir frequently. Otherwise, it's going to stick to the bottom. 
I would say keep it on high for at least 30 seconds to up to about a minute. I'm going to put the spoon on here so I can readjust the camera because I don't think it looks right. Okay, one box crushed, stir. What were the equations about? Maximum. Preferably every 20 seconds. But right now you can go with 30 to 40. Which is roughly almost about the time it takes me to crush this box. <laughs> I do this extra folding stuff to make it extra flat. And he basically invented it, or at least popularized it. Yeah. There's multiple videos of him degreasing pizza. Yeah. So Nick, you wrote your second book and released it. The situation. Wait, that's his book. He wrote that. The secret in the basement. Degreasing pizzas is something I've done for 15 or so years. However, I didn't know he was an author. I've been wanting to know for a very long time. How effective is this as a weight loss strategy? Okay, well, degreasing pizza basically involves taking basic paper towels like this, nothing really special here, putting it on the pizza like this. Notice how it's covering it. Now all you gotta do is just cover the pizza, dab down like this, and what, <laughs> what do you suppose that is? I'm actually wondering how much of this is actually fat that I'm soaking up. Each Probably gram of a lot. Fat is nine calories. Each gram of carbohydrates is four. Protein is also four. Combine all that, and you get the actual total. As to how, how to grease the pizza, just on undo it. all of this hard work. Eva, 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 Ola Lily, I'll be like, today I'm going to teach up. you how to grease up a pizza. The nutrition facts here. You can see how much total fat it's got and all that other stuff. However, one thing to note is that. When food is very warm, fat tends to be a liquid. And thus, True. you can use paper towels to soak it up. True. So, what exactly am I soaking up? How much of this is actually fat? As in, the 65 grams basically that this pizza's got, how much am I actually reducing this? And over time, does that become an effective weight loss technique? Mythbusters, I would very much like for you to test this. Did they test it? And just so you know, what I end up soaking up, here is the other side. Look at all that. Oh. That's not the first, that's not the only and one I do And it's still, look, look it's still wet with grease. I've been doing this for 15 years, and I've gone from something like 190 pounds or whatever I once was, clear down to about my current 140, and I've been sustaining 140. I only eat pizzas, and I otherwise don't exercise. So, something's got to explain the weight loss. <laughs> this is my computer area. At first glance, it seems rather the unusual, all toy set, because first it's really low to the ground. Case in point, here's a typical ruler. The keyboard is barely 12 inches above the ground, which is about 30 centimeters, if you want it in metric. But there's another unusual thing. You're probably wondering, uh, what is this here all about? This seems a bit odd. And this is my mouse, and right here is where my keyboard is. You can probably see a little light right Guy there. Guy math or girl math? I think this is a different, this is ascended math. The side that are currently turned on, but there's a null pointer to a song playing because I hit that stop button that comes in useful. And of course, I've got a little high ground. He, he always likes sensitive. to sit on the floor. Yeah, Even his computer is down on the floor. Million, He's like laying. So, you're probably wondering, what is this here anyway? These are dryer sheets. Uh, okay. On What's his keyboard? Dryer sheets on your keyboard. That seems really weird when you think about it. But it actually serves two reasons. First, it's a lot more comfortable to type. This, of course, is just a quick oh. example. Oh! Does it? 
absorb the static? The real way is more like this. Okay. However, the other reason is it also helps keep the dust out. Except every now and then I get little holes like this right here, if you can see that. Yeah, I can reach my hand in there and pull that up, no problem. There's he needs to replace here. that section then. And it's it's, it's kind of falling apart. Right Looks here. disheveled. I can poke my finger right under Oh, crust ball. shield? Wait! And there's one that's just oh, to keep crumbs it's out! It's a little longer than my usual time in which I normally swap these out. So I'm going to be swapping them out right now. Good! Or why that hole keeps getting in there. Why is he using a then screwdriver so, to do this? These, by the way, are not what they seem. They're what? pretty heavy. What are they? When I mean pretty heavy, I mean they're pretty heavy. They're not men? Like what the fuck are they? That's because I got uh, a whole lot of weight in there. Why? Just, uh, press that down. <gasps> oh, to but hold the dryer sheets down. They're now clear. You can kind of start seeing the results right here. A little tiny hole in there, but it's not. This one's not too bad. This guy is this so strange. Right here, the world needs more people yes, like they stick this. Together pretty well. Here you can see a like lot the world of stuff is richer one. for it. Yeah, no kidding. I need to replace these. Well, toss that one. Yep, I'm replacing them all. This guy is on here a whole different planet. Yeah, yeah, and I love it. One, two others. This one right here. Like, who the fuck else would think about putting dryer sheets on their keyboard? Over there. And uh, why? And over here. And why is he using, like, screwdrivers to do it? Oh, oh wait, he is sizing it up. Just one, six, two. Zero, uh, he is literally sitting like L right one, now. Six, two is actually a six, one, seven, six. He is actually onto something. The, this uh, is actually fucking seven. genius. Why don't you use saran wrap? Okay, you see, saran wrap... Here's my line of thinking. Saran wrap would be too slippery, and it would make it harder to type. You need that friction that the dryer sheet provides in order to have enough traction while you're typing so your fingers aren't slipping and sliding everywhere. Saran wrap would serve a similar purpose and be easier to apply because it would like a shrink wrap around your keyboard. It'd be easier to secure around it, but the texture of it would not be ideal for a typing environment. Two one five is multiply. Zero two four seven is divide. And it's sticky, yeah. There's Aluminum foil would interfere with uh, the radio signals so coming from your computer, and it'd be loud. It's so handy for that. And dryer sheets can smell really good, so every time you type, you get like a. a like a whiff of some flowery scent. One last one to do. Mm -hmm. I still don't understand what the screwdriver is for. Is he like using screws to affix the dryer sheet to the keyboard? Like, did he install them or were they like there? Is the music part of this video? No, I added it for, uh, for tension. It just kind of fits. Cause he, he's fucking plotting something. He's planning something. Bro needs to find himself? No, bro. This guy... Everyone's like making so, fun and like... Like, being like, whoa, this is so weird, like, uh, why is he doing this? It makes no sense. You don't understand Ulalilia. He just operates on a different fucking level. He is an actual genius. Like, I'm not even kidding. He's just an eccentric genius. Except there's one other thing He's cool as fuck, do. yeah. What is that? I remember these. They need to be put on here. Except I need to make some minor adjustments. They should make dryer sheets that are like paper towel where you can just pull out a big long stretch of it So you don't have to use like the segmented like individual pieces like that There is a documentary about this guy. Yeah On YouTube In another life he would have been a Silicon Valley billionaire. Yeah, exactly 
This is the type of person that could invent something that will literally change history. And over here, do the same. And I'm still wondering what the fuck did he put in the Altoid tins to make them so heavy? He's gonna invent the next nuclear bomb. And now I'm all ready to use my what, how to play mouse. Marbles Lights Out? What is marbles this? Marbles Lights Out is a game that combines artwork, marbles, and destruction. Is Created this the game that he invented? 20x time lapses and 30x near the end. Yeah, I know, big multipliers. How does this game work? Depleted uranium is what he put in the Altoid tins? Wait, wasn't there a guy, like, way back when, that made, like, a nuclear reactor in his, like, dad's shed? And ended up poisoning an entire town accidentally? Yeah, that story is crazy. Alright, here it's facing on the left, right? What? Get it on the right. Now you get it on the left, and eventually you'll wiggle it loose. He made, like, a whole That's obstacle course for the marbles. Many marbles that do fall down here and here. Wait, what's um, what's the clock it. for? It's pretty steady, you know. Okay? So, I guess I can keep going. Is so he like timing how long it takes to so get all the marbles right out? Here and try to get these out of the way. Or do I shoot it over here and try to knock some of these out? Oh, it's like Peggle. So Unless, of course, it's in an invalid spot. It doesn't qualify. It's for the multipliers. Oh, I see. Oh, what? All done. And exactly 128. What do you know? Two of the sevens. Oh. Well, there's no more marbles up here. That means Did it take an hour? This round is It looks like it went from noon to one. So, is there any scoring? Technically, no. But you no? could consider it this way. One point for every light, two points for every leftover in your stock here. Bro, I love marbles. I love collecting them. When I was a kid, I used to have like so many bags of them. I stole some from my brother too. They just have an interesting texture. What the fuck just happened? I don't know. <laughs> That's Ululia though. That's Ululia for you. Anyway. <laughs> Let's see what's going on in uh, New Delhi. Of collecting things, time to add goat guns, miniature models. These what? One third to scale. And goat guns? Penis. computer bhi to wahi kaam karta hai jo calculator karta. Some of these are randomly so loud. What is he yelling about? What is he yelling about over here? What? He's angry about his pizza being decreased. <laughs> yeah, is it like a, a pastor? He's spitting. I mean, is it Easter in other countries still? Like in the time zone? Who even celebrates Easter? I mean, I'm asking honestly, like, what, what, what all religions celebrate it? Radio <laughs> Catholic Christian. <laughs> that was just the, that, that was just the name. That was just the name of this radio station. It's an Indian radio station, okay? It's, it's called, uh, you can see it in the lower left. That's, that's the name of it. Yeah, this is the name of it. I'm not gonna attempt to pronounce it, because I don't speak that language, but... <laughs> Ooh. Another Android 
Alarm sound? What are they doing over here in Kazakhstan? Wait, I love this song! Wait, that's the... Da -da 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 the fucking... Uh, mwah, mwah. I love this song. Oh, the connection is so bad though. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Oh man, keeps fading out. What are they doing in Bishkek? You know what had the best music though? Reykjavik always had the best songs. Over here in Iceland. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> I don't like that song. <laughs> oh fuck. I like I like Rihanna a lot, but that song is so. I just don't like how she says "why, why, 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 why." Wait, what is this? Oh, baby, is this K-pop? This is the K-pop store in Iceland. Whoa. That high note was kind of crazy. Oh, there's one station in Greenland. Let's uh, check up on it. What is this place like? I kind of want to pull it up on Google Maps. Hold on. Let me make sure I don't dox anything. This is the capital of Greenland! Let's do a uh, cheeky street view. Okay. This is where this radio station is from. Isn't this crazy? There's people living here right now. Look how barren and empty it is. People live here with the radios, people live outside giant cities. That's not my point, bro! It's fucking Greenland out in like... <laughs> like, like... <laughs> like way up north in the fucking North Pole in like Christmas land. Isn't that crazy to think about? Like it's the capital, but like... It just seems like another world. Like the terrain is so... It's like alien terrain. This guy's just chilling. Ooh. It probably gets so fucking cold. Look at that. They like, they live on a glacier. Death Stranding looking ass place. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Look at that. Bro, imagine you're a kid and you go to the, the park and like this is your view. Isn't that insane? It's just crazy to think about. Yeah, it's gorgeous. You need to go explore the world? Bro, this isn't just me. This is me being like, oh, look at how, look how fucking desolate and shitty everywhere that is in America is. I'm literally saying, like, look how cool this is. So many people are way too cynical nowadays. What's going on over here in Canada? Like, bro, where the fuck is this? Iqaluit, Canada? Like, this is way out of the way. Like, there's like miles and miles and miles of just like. Empty forest separating this from like the like other big cities and stuff. 
Okay, let's look this up on Street View. Ika Luit? Oh. Nunavut. Nunavut, Canada. Oh, there's an airport there. <gasps> Bro, look at this. The radio isn't connecting. I think maybe the signal isn't strong enough, but bro. It looks pretty industrial. I wonder if there's other radio stations nearby. Oh, there's one. Vermont, Canada? What's going on over here? Natashkwan? Whoa, what is this island over here? Norris Point? On being the best writer one can be. I mean, you know, it's difficult to... From you... Wabana? Radio Bell Island. Number 10. In 1988, it was originally intended for singer Roy Orbison. He recorded like, it. Look at this little Cindy city Lockham over here. St. John's, Canada. Roy Orbison's version is pretty darn good as well. Well, enjoy the rest of this Easter weekend. And if you've got suggestions or any Bro, comments on radio the show, is just so soothing. Drop us a line on air at Coast 101. Okay, let's go to downtown St. John's. Coast Whoa! I'm Keith. Join me Saturday nights at 8 and Sunday. Well, look how green everything is. Your coast precision weather and a few more what? still to come. Bro, it's just like a little a like kind of like a Midwest vibe. There's a subway. In homes and communities filled with memories, surrounded by those they love. Bro. Manage households, help with personal care, provide company. This is just like and long -term out in the middle of nowhere in Canada. Look. With disabilities and help adults with disabilities stay independent. Home I'm kind of scared to show my whole screen. Care. Home care is it's health. on Newfin Newfoundland Newfound Island, Angelo, right here. Between four and six p.m., I play just a. I want to find another jumbo, like really really far away place. The song, you'll win a jumbo what about pizza. up uh up uh Yellowknife? Bro, Yellowknife seems crazy. It's like so far removed from uh civilization. There's probably so many bears here. There's a big ass lake too. Anything up here? Look at that. There's like nothing up here. It's uninhabitable land. Cold Australia. Winter. And here's Alaska. What the fuck was that noise? Barrow, Alaska. Okay, so here's Barrow, Alaska. There's no street view for this. It's just, uh, you just like drag and drop. Oh my God. There's a rainbow. Look at this. This is like really, really far north on the coast of Alaska. Look at that. Is that a whale bone? Look at that. Whale bone arch. It's beautiful. What are these? This is high. Aww. Oh god. I have to hide my screen every time I do this because I'm paranoid that it's going to like... Google Maps is just going to be like, Oh, what if we just uh, randomly teleport to your uh, geographic location? Look at that. This is the road. There's someone living in this town right now listening to the song. Look at that. Really makes you think. It's a whole wide world out there. Wait, there's uh this is the college. 
Welcome to Alyssa Gvik. Whoa. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Look at that. Are those whale bones also? It looks like a whale head. God damn. And then there's like a science center over here. They're doing like research. Our children helped us write this song, so we invite you to sing with all of your inner children with us. Yes. Um, it goes like this, the part we want you to sing on. If you want to There's the a pizza thing, you know, place over here. Our favorite people now. But it goes... Whoa. This is like the... The general oh, store, oh, I think. Oh, 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 oh. Alaska Commercial it's Company. You can put it Bro, it looks it's so really cold. But please... Please sing with us. Thanks so much for having me. It's the type of cold where if your hair is wet, it'll immediately turn to icicles the second you step outside. Oh. Type of cold where it like hurts to breathe. Yeah, fire in my chest. What about... What's Hokkaido? This place. Sakhalin Island. Check this shit out. This is where this radio station is from. Look. What the fuck is that? Is that the internet tubes? This is like a part of Russia that's like right above Japan. There's another one over here. Wait, where are all these little like islands are here? Do people live on these? Whoa, what the fuck? Kamchatka. Do, do, do. Where is this? Kamchatka. The Kamchatka Peninsula. Peninsula. What the fuck? It's like Russian AutoZone. Holy fuck. Look. It's a little Japanese truck. Is that trippy? They're building something over here. Whoa. Google, Google, Google. What are these pipes for? I keep seeing them. Is it for oil? Is it for pizza grease? Who's laying pipe over here? Oh, that's graffiti. It looks like Justin Bieber's tattoo. It says swaggy on it. Look, look at this guy in his car. Like, he was going somewhere. Is this guy still alive? What is his life like? What was he doing? Where was he going? Who is this man? It's fucking me up to think about it. Well, look. In 2013, this guy was driving somewhere. Look, look at this lady in this car with her uh, husband, I'm assuming. This gas station? Whoa, look at that hill. Like auto shops and like used car lots. Look at that, bro. Is this Kazakhstan? No, it's a uh, 
like above Japan. It's fucked up. What? Are, where else is like really remote? Really, really far up. I'm disappointed. Oh god, I'm so scared that OBS is gonna crash. That there's no stations in Antarctica. Fiji? Gonna turn me gay. <laughs> Bro, this place looks beautiful. Lao Toka Fiji? This is where they make that water. Is this the Scissor Sisters? Okay, here's street view of where this radio station is from. Wait, this is a panorama. Oh. Wait, this picture... The quality is so bad, but it's from 2020. Look at that. Just this remote island. Whoa, that fountain is so cool. Holy fuck. I've never been outside of America before. I'd be so scared of hurricanes. Yeah, me too. Hurricanes, volcanoes. Whoa. Enriched with vitamin A and D? What is this? What kind of oil is this? Why is she so happy? Is it Fiji oil? What's over here? Port Vila. Port Vila... Vanatu? Okay, this is where this radio station is. Whoa, look at how blue the water is. What the fuck? I wonder how hot it gets. If you're like really close to the ocean, the ocean kind of cools things down a bit, right? Looks like there's a storm brewing on the horizon. Windows XP screensaver location looking at us. <laughs> Wait, where is Varkuta again? It's like really far north in Russia, right? My inspiration. What goes around comes around, goes around, and I want to way back around. Yeah, it's like way up. Way up, way up north. Way up north. Arch. Angolisk. What's way up in uh, Norway? This is crazy. Like, it's just crazy to think that people live here. This far north? What are they talking about? Ho Honing Swag is the name of this town. It's in the tippy top of Norway. Okay, check this shit out. Whoa. Wait, this place looks kind of chill. Is this a hair salon? Oh my god, look at that. The hills in the distance. God, I want to go to Norway and Sweden and Finland so bad. The houses just look so cute. I love how they're like set into the hillside like that. It looks pretty rainy and cold, but like in a, a comfy way. Har du vært like entusiastisk hele tiden? Du begynner å bli litt mer voksen nå enn det var. I hope that doesn't show anything bad. Ja, det som er rart er at den som er liksom akkurat like sterk som den var når jeg var bitte liten. Arctic Biat. Det er liksom bare en stor del av det. 
Det vil aldrig forandre sig. Somebody's getting told. Please search for Edinburgh of the Seven Seas. Very remote, like a lie. Edinburgh of the Seven of the Seven Seas, Saint Helena. Where the fuck is this? It's some bro. It's some island in between uh, South America and Africa. Here, I'll show you guys. There's a crayfish factory. I don't think it even has street view anywhere. This is remote. Oh my god. There's like barely any photos of it. Bro, this is insane. Look at that. There's no street view. What the fuck? These are the only photographs that exist of this place. And they all look like they're taken in like 1970. They're all blurry. I'm getting scared. Like 80 people live there? Is there a radio station from there? No way, right? Wait, this is St. Joseph Reunion. Where is this place? It's like, is this it? No, that's Jamestown. St. Helena? And for the Dusty Man, if he's listening to us tonight, send Dusty to figure if he's hoping. What the fuck? Someone's jamming out over there. <laughs> Fernando de Noronha, Brazil. Island so small, it's so it's like pixelated. Ooh, the population had to be evacuated to London in the 1960s. Wait, why? Did something happen there? What happened there? Praia Cape Verde. God, there's so many fucking tiny little islands in the world. Volcanic eruption. There was an outbreak of weebitis. They all died. Oh my god. Could it happen again? This place is just called Paul. You can't take no more. This is so scary. <laughs> it is kind of scary if you think about it too much. There's so many people in the world. There's so many places. Uh, there's so many places that you don't even know about. Avarua? The Cook Islands? Apia? Oh, Samoa? Oh. I'm patient zero. Wait, am I a carrier? I don't have any symptoms. Oh no. Oh fuck. You guys, you have to kill me. I love this song! But I don't want to get copywritten. Whoa, what? What the fuck? This thing that surrounds the island, this is called an atoll, right? This island looks so cool. Yeah, it's like an amoeba floating around in the ocean. Are there like islands that have never been discovered before? Do you think? Is it possible? Maybe like someone thought they discovered the entire world, but as they were like scanning the world on their boat or whatever, or with GPS, the signal got disrupted and there's some island that was just like shrouded in fog. All islands have been discovered now. What if there's one where like uh, for some reason the satellite signal all fucked up and it, it just got undetected? There's uncontacted unco tribes and shit too. Imagine showing an uncontacted tribe VTubers. VTuber alert, VTuber alert. Oh, look at this. Kiribati. Whoa. 
How is there a radio station in the middle of the water? He's on a boat? <gasps> what the fuck? That's tiny! Is this island man-made? Or did like the middle of it just get submerged? The Lap Liga de Jarrett, the Marshall Islands. They look, they look like those silly van things. Nuclear test site, actually. Some of these islands have old World War II wrecks washed ashore on them. Wait, really? That's crazy. Bro, what the fuck? Yeah, they do look like eye floaties. What's over here? We know? And of a honeycomb, and he took it and did eat before them. Is this another <laughs> Christian <laughs> station? A Ghana Heights in Guam? Yeah, I wonder what radio on other planets is like. Singer and, and personality. I first met them a month before their performance date in Barcelona. Schubert Barcelona? What do they listen to in uh, the Philippines right now? Isn't the uh, Philippines like really oh, chill? My, uh... Don't they have like... What is that Philippines uh, fast food place that everyone loves? It's so hot over here. Oh god, yeah, I could not survive. Jollibee, yeah, I heard Jollibee is so good. Ooh, I like this. Some bossa nova. What the fuck is that a volcano? It looks like it's smoking. Is this an active volcano? Yes. Dear god! They love karaoke in the Philippines? Yeah, I heard actually there's a story. I think this was in the Philippines. There was a guy that sang some Frank Sinatra song at a karaoke night in the Philippines. And the people watching got mad that he didn't sing it good enough and shot him to death. Yeah, it's like a song that they hold in very, very high regard. Like, the, if you sing it, you have to really give it your all and sing it well. Because if you don't sing it well, they think you're disrespecting it and they will get so fucking pissed. Yeah, my way. The cursed song. They take karaoke very, very seriously. Da, 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 da. Add that to your karaoke set? Why? I, I don't want to get shot. Anyway. I can't yap for too much longer. Let me boot up AFK Journey. We can keep yapping while we do our little sponsored segment for a bit. <laughs> 